Hi and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. Today's topic is Jupiter Lab, so I'm going to give you seven reasons why I love Jupiter Lab. So let's get started. Uh, first question is probably what the heck is Jupiter Lab? Uh, if you go to jupiter.org, you can see easily that there is two brands of Jupiter. So we have Jupiter Notebook, which is a classic notebook interface. I've made videos on that one. But now we have the Jupyter Lab, that's the next generation notebook interface. And it used to be a bit more experimental, but now it's kind of overtaking or already the de facto experience for Jupyter. So I'm going to give you seven uh, great things I love about Jupyter Lab. Let's go there. Once you have started your Jupyter Lab server, um, your experience is already a little bit different than in the classic notebook. So the common thing is that we still have the file explorer and capability to do notebooks and open them. But uh, we also have plenty of other stuff here. So before we go to these ones, I want to start with my favorite thing number one. And favorite thing number one is settings menu, because you're able to immediately change your themes. If you want to go dark, you can go dark with just a click of your mouse. And you can get more themes here easily. You can adjust your font sizes and they will be remembered in your server. So I think this is very cool thing because with the earlier Jupyter Notebooks, uh, you had to go through all kinds of loops uh, just to be able to adjust your kind of theming here. Very good thing. So number two is my image editor. Earlier, I didn't have very easy access to open any images for viewing. Now I do. It's simple as that. that just a minor thing, if I have images in my folder, very rapid to take a look at them. But if you're working with kind of reports or outputs, uh, this is very powerful and fun thing to do. Already a bit more like traditional ID like experience, right? Okay, favorite thing number three, uh, full markdown editor, finally. So if you're working with markdown editors, let's see, I have readme file here. Um, you get the color coding immediately here. Let's put here some extra text. Well, let's actually preview this before I do that one. So if you right click on top of your markdown, you have a preview here. I think this is already enough reason to install JupyterLab on your machine if you work with markdown files, because you have this really powerful editor and Im immediate preview. If I put here like and subscribe, and by the way, if you want to subscribe to my channel, YouTube did the nasty, you now need to open my profile and click it there. But uh, I can immediately preview my stuff here. If I want to highlight it to be a bit larger, something like this one, auto save, manual save, will render it on the right side. Very powerful. So if you need markdown often like I do, uh, this is very, very good editor, very good and uh, lightweight and easy experience for that one. That was my reason number three. Reason number four is great editor for CSV files, because I deal a lot with CSV files. And uh, here is one. So if I double click it, I can immediately go to very simple preview. I just choose the proper delimiter. This is, by the way, my electricity usage files. So if I take a look at this one, I can very easily preview my files, even edit them. Now, uh, this handles gracefully even huge files. My file right now is not huge, but this is very, again, a lightweight, fast editor, much better than anything you are probably currently using, I would argue. And uh, you have access to that power immediately from the Jupyter Lab. You don't need to open any extra editors, install any extensions. So you didn't get this in the earlier, just basic notebooks. Lab is more like ID experience, so I think most of the favorite things for me, most of the power comes from the multiple editors. I could mention also Python editor, but I'm not mentioning it. I think you already got the idea. Access to terminal, text files, markdowns, Python, HTML, CSV, all kinds of stuff straight off the bat. Very powerful thing. Okay. Next favorite thing, um, you can open multiple things directly here. So here is a notebook, here is an image, here is the CSV file, here is some markdown. Instead of having these open as separate browser tabs and, uh, and kind of heavyweight things, these are like tabs within the JupyterLab experience. And these are all synchronized. So now I'm cheating a little bit. What I'm able to do is 
right click on my Python notebook and I can do new view for my notebook. I could also do console for code, but today I wanted to demonstrate the view. So having these multiple tabs within the Jupyter Lab and being able to synchronize them, this is something I like to use quite a lot because if I have a notebook and I'm working on some results a little bit down the line, then being having these uh, synchronized is very very powerful thing. So I can work on the code in one kind of side of my editor, and then I can just uh, review the results on the other side, or I can take a look at different parts of the notebook. So same notebook, identical data and state, and then I just have uh, kind of two different views. If I run this notebook then the right side also gets like updated as a result of this one. So uh, your kind of needs may vary, but for me it's very useful. This is my favorite thing, number five, having multiple views all synchronized, uh, having access to multiple editors that I can open, and even these are all synchronized. So very powerful thing. Uh, we are left to two remaining favorites. Can you guess what they are? Well, uh, favorite number six is very, very simple, minor thing, but I didn't have this in Jupyter Notebooks, so I can drag and drop to rearrange my cells, like so. So very minor thing, but already quite powerful. So the editor is becoming much more powerful than before. That's kind of the thing here. Favorite number seven, uh, to wrap things up, is extension. So if you are not getting enough power, for your day-to-day -day usage out of all these. Then you can go to extensions menu and start whipping uh, different extensions. For example, extensions that might be useful are like Git extension, Google Drive extension, code formatter, all kinds of things. So if you want a real uh, ID-like experience within your Jupyter Lab uh, workspace, this is it. And of course, you can use these in many environments like AWS SageMaker, uh, gives you the power of Jupyter Labs as well uh, to use there if you like instead of notebooks. So I think that wraps up my seven favorite things. Uh, uh, capability to adjust your experience with themes and font settings. Uh, capability to view images, uh, markdown files, CSV files, many other kinds of files straight off the bat. Everything under one tab, uh, one kind of uh, experience in the browser and being able to synchronize all views to same things. Very, very powerful. Even the notebook experience is now better with drag and drop, for example, and then all the extensions. So I think there is plenty of power. And my recommendation is that unless you already have all these in your favorite ID experience, unless you already are very happy, uh, just install the lab, uh, give it a spin, um, go through what I just showed to you and figure out if this is your favorite. Uh, environment. I would not probably have anybody use the basic notebook anymore because Lab has uh, it has taken over the experience. It's now the ultimate one. So did I miss any favorite features? Uh, please drop some comments below the video. There is some more stuff that you enjoy in the Lab experience. Drop requests for upcoming future videos below the video. And most importantly, remember to show, show the love and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you want to subscribe, you now need to open my channel. Subscribe there. For some reason, YouTube removed the immediate subscribe button uh, below the video. So you have to put a bit extra effort. But that's what I'm doing all the time. So return the favor. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the upcoming content. Same channel. Bye bye.